Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we are working on the Turbo E36. We've got some more simple stuff to do today. My first taste at fabrication, we'll say. So I got to build a fuel pressure regulator uh, mount because right now it's mounted under some charge pipe and it's really ghetto. So that's uh, the goal number one today. And then we also possibly are going to get into this frame rail stuff. So they clearanced a bunch of stuff for this big turbo. And one of the things was the frame rail. So these frame rails are pinch welded together at the top or sealed together through a pinch at the top and they shaved that off and just boogered it up so now it's just rusting booger welds so we'll possibly get to that today if not it is what it is but i'm gonna get cracking at it crazy stuff i gotta do cooling system uh because as before it was right here and i had to relocate it for this charge piping and right now i'm gonna tackle this fuel pressure regulator so i'm gonna try and build a bracket that comes off the throttle body and it'll sit somewhere right here where you can actually see it adjust it comfortably not right there in the middle of under the charge piping i guess so i'm gonna get to it hopefully it uh goes turns out nicely we'll see still chugging away at making this bracket this is it right now cut it out of the big sheet now i'm cutting out these little details get it all cleaned up see how it looks still gotta drill the holes in it of course but it's coming along all right guys so ended up deciding to mount it here on the oil filter housing um, I'm going to have to shorten this AN line or relocate the fuel pressure regulator here like I wanted initially, but the charge pipe is too close right now. So I got to get the charge pipe in redone first. So I figured temporarily cook this bracket up. Uh, I got to drill four holes in it, but it fits around the oil filter housing really nicely. Just cut it out of that big sheet like you guys saw. Got it shaped how I want. So I'm going to drill some holes in it. It'll drop down right there and the fuel pressure regulator will sit right in this notch since the line drops out of the bottom of it, but pretty sick. I'm gonna go ahead and drill the holes, try and get it mounted up. Probably worry about spraying it or getting it powder coated or something later, but for now, it's just gonna be raw. Ran this oil line how I wanted, clocked it how I want. I ended up going over the top. I don't wanna add extra heat to it, running it underneath, but I did get my P-clamp on, so it's all tucked up nice and tight. Won't be hitting the fan. I got it routed a lot better back here, tucked some wires away. Uh, ran the vacuum line like I said to the wastegate. I need to go to a bigger line. This one's actually too small So I'll replace it later um, What else have I done? Oh finishing up with this bracket here trying to decide if I should clear it or spray it black, but Came out super good um, I guess you guys won't be able to decide what color I do but drop in the comments what you would have done I guess uh, Looks cool silver. I think I might just clear it if anything I could black it later. So Holes all line up super good. Super happy with how this thing came out. So, oh, and there it goes. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna spray that, go ahead and get the regulator mounted. And then I'm gonna try and figure something out about routing this or shortening it or something. So we'll see. I'll let that dry up. Probably do three or four coats on both sides and call it a day. All right, so waiting on my uh, little bracket to dry. I should be doing my gauges right now, but kind of got carried away. I pulled the exhaust off. You can see just the ghetto work they did here. Usually the secondary air pump box sits here, and you can just see they cut it out so ghetto. Um, so I'm just trying to clean it up here and there. I don't really care too much about this shell, but I'd like to make it half decent. So I'm going to try and rip this out, break these spot welds. We'll see how it goes. If I have to drill them out, I will. But go ahead and try to bust those out i can see literally a loose nut on this manifold and i was kind of worried about that because they're very hard to tighten on these cars so i'm gonna try and go over and tighten the ones that i can reach at least um and we'll go from there but yeah as you can see exhaust is off i'm gonna try and clean this up I initially started just cleaning up some wiring because there's so much extra crap back here and i need to make a hole for the uh boost reference and the afr to go through so just decided to pull it all out gonna try and get this bracket out first eventually i'm gonna have to pull this turbo and sand all this down make sure that it's not bare metal and it doesn't keep rusting like that just get it coated with something so over here looking for my sharpie there it is but yeah gonna try and knock this out next all right so in classic igor fashion just keep getting sidetracked did that and then i noticed this intercooler coupler was off or piping was off and then i'm like man this thing needs to be cut and rotated I did end up putting the fuel pressure regulator on it looks 10 times better than i could have even expected i actually flipped the line around so the 90 is here instead of here so we still have uh, space to do an oil change without 
removing this line every time which would be kind of annoying so pretty cool everything's going super well this bracket came out amazing uh, it looks really good it's positioned nicely this thing is on here like a rock um solid as a rock but still going through a lot of this wiring a lot of the stuff i don't need this stuff back here i don't know if i should cut it or just loom it up and put it in that cover i got to go to the junkyard and get that wiring loom cover um pulled this heat shielding out as you can see took it off the hood as well i think it'll look a lot better once i get all the tabs out and pressure wash it it's all mildewy but hopefully all that stuff will come out and this thing will look pretty decent but yeah i think i might pull this hot side off the turbo wastegate everything kind of want to check all those manifold bolts and there's just stuff i need to redo here i gotta grind all this down and paint it while i do that you know there's no point in doing that side and then this time or in this side separately might as well just pull the tools out once pull the paint out once get it all done right so not 100 percent sure but i may just go ahead and pull this turbo off and get that done uh, i gotta grind that side down maybe pull this bracket off as well depending on how many spot welds it is i'll just go ahead and do that too so a lot of work ahead of us as you can see got all this wiring pulled heat shielding out which that stuff will catch on fire instantly with the heat this thing puts out so all that stuff would catch on fire so it's all out uh moving along nicely but taking a while that's for sure all right just got the borgy pulled off you guys can just see how ghetto this was done. It's hard to show on camera with the turbo in, but hoping I don't have to pull this manifold because I heard it's pretty much impossible in car. So gonna probably pull this wastegate real quick and then pull this wastegate real quick and then go to grinding on this thing. I'm gonna pull this AC off. It'll go back on, but for now I need to get it off just to uh, get some space in here and grind this down. So. Wastegate next, precision turbo wastegate. I'm gonna open it up, make sure uh, it has an eight pound spring, like the guy said. And uh, we're gonna go from there, but yeah, probably should have just torn this thing apart from the very beginning, because pretty much everything is just done wrong. So keeping at it. You can see this big notch is crazy. As you guys can see, we got all the booger welds knocked off. We got a nice smooth corner now. We got all these jagged edges cleaned up. You can actually rub your hand on it without cutting yourself open. Still need to do this backside. I think I'm gonna pop the wheel off and do it from the back. But still this backside and we're good. Throw some paint on it and it's ready to go. This is gonna get messy real quick. Got that bracket pulled off that bracket rinse it out all right everybody wrapping it up for the day pressure washed under the hood still need some soap and some scrubbing but it came out pretty good still need to take out all the clips and the little foam behind them um ended up getting this corner washed out pretty good got to do some patching there tomorrow got all this stuff really smooth and coated so it won't continue resting it's not pretty i wouldn't do it that way but it is what it is fuel pressure regulator mounted today a couple other small things pressure washed all around so She's ready to go um, tomorrow. What's the plan tomorrow? I'm gonna finish up this corner, get the uh, hot side all back on, and then I gotta get some intercooler piping done. But he's gonna help out with that. So yeah, I'm coming along back good. to work on this thing. It's been a couple days. Been doing a bunch of other stuff. Had to work on this car, E30 I got. Was doing some M4 stuff, cleaning up around the house, part out car. It's in the backyard now, M3. But uh, finally pulled my little welder out. I'm gonna go ahead and try to patch weld or plug these uh, little holes that they put. Uh, four up top and three here. I think this one I might leave for now because that heat shield is going on there. Hopefully you guys could see that. But yeah, I'm about to fire this thing up, see how it comes out. Um, I'll show you guys after. I'm sure it's not that interesting. I'm just gonna do a few tacks on all those and hope this foam doesn't catch on fire and burn this whole car down. But should be all right so yeah i'm gonna try and do that all right now. as you can see i got the welder put away cleaned up got everything patched up it's not 1000 percent perfect but they should grind flat and not have any pinholes i tried to fill it really nicely so yeah i'm gonna get those grinded flat and try and get some primer at least thrown on them maybe just some white paint like i did here 
course it's not going to match perfect but someone already repainted this like i told you guys before and it's not beautiful anyways so like i said i'm gonna grind these flat with the flap disc got my worn out one um good to keep around for stuff that you don't want to grind too much so this stuff should be real light real easy and uh Quick update it. here uh owner of iconic motorsports just pulled up for some e36 parts he bought some vaders and an lsd um i'm finishing up here finally got this cooling system in uh, i had to take apart the turbo and tap the housing for boost pressure um i'm gonna do boost pressure to wastegate and then wastegate to intake or no, wastegate to turbo boost pressure, and then I'm gonna get the boost pressure source for the gauge from the intake. Um, bought this blanket the other day. As you guys saw yesterday, cleaned it up in here and got a little bit of paint thrown down so it's not bare metal. Uh, got a little bit of this wiring tucked, deja vu, threw some zip ties on it. So yeah, I'll show you guys. I'm tapping the, I just tapped this turbo, and now I need to put a fitting in there with some Teflon tape, and then we'll throw this turbo back together I did mark where I clocked it, as you guys can see here. Hopefully, I don't wipe these marks off. Um, but yeah, I marked where I clocked it and where it was clocked. So I got to throw this thing back together, tighten this drain. It was super loose, went like three full rotations. These also went like a quarter turn. So everything on this car is just super loose. Definitely glad I took it all apart. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to throw this turbo back together. This is where I tapped it through this hole here. So it'll focus. So I got to get the air compressor charged up and blow the air out of here you don't want any absolutely any metal shavings in that so blowing that out gonna get this turbo thrown back on down pipe and everything we'll be able to go for a drive yeah, just got this thing back together letting it idle now I'm trying to get some bubbles out of the cooling system it's gonna take a while to open up and get this thermostat open but for now we got to try and do that um this is how everything came out obviously didn't do anything too crazy but just tightened pretty much a lot of stuff and i'm more confident in this build now so also change this wastegate line, so hopefully this actually opens now. That'll be cool. Turbo is spinning at idle, which is a good sign. Good fuel pressure. I did actually try and crank it up and had no fuel pressure, so I instantly knew something was off. I thought maybe from welding around the ECU, maybe it grounded out somewhere and burned it out. But it turns out uh, there was a ground wire missing, so put that ground on and it started right up. It's idling really good, no smoke or anything pretty happy with it like i said just trying to bleed this and we're gonna go for a quick drive nothing crazy not gonna hit any crazy boost or anything but just want to make sure the afrs are decent now that we actually have a cooling system we can actually go down the road and not around the neighborhood so might drive it to the auto parts store and buy some power steering fluid that might be kind of cool so we'll see see what happens